All right, so good afternoon, uh, everyone. I mean, good evening, everyone. All right, so uh, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, Jess. I can hear you. All right. So, uh, are you going to activate your cameras, or are you going to remain in that way? I mean, just okay. asking. All right. Not a problem. All right. So, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. That's great, that's great. Um, you know, according to the uh, WhatsApp group, this, uh, this class is supposed to be big, you know. So I, I'm, I'm expecting a lot of students in this class today, okay? So, um, so you know, hopefully, a lot of a lot of people are going to join this this class. So we're gonna wait, let's say five or or let's see two or three minutes, and then we're gonna take it from there. All right. Okay. So we have Sulma, we have Tania, and then Nati Montoya. So you go by Nati, right? <clears throat> Sorry. So you prefer to be called Nati or Natalia? I That's prefer okay. Nati. All right, Nati will be okay. And for you, Sulma, so Sulma will be just fine. Yes, I like them. Okay, so you don't have any problems over there. And Mrs. Miss or Miss Duenas, we have Tania, right? Tania. Okay, nice. So, so far we only have one gentleman, which is Mr. Kike. What's your last name, Mr. Gonzalez? All right, that's just one. All right, so according to my system, I have uh, just to take the attendance list over here. So I have uh, Sulma, Tania, Francisco Chicas, Jose Antonio Sierra, Manuel Duarte, eh, Nati Montoya, Adriana Victoria. I have a Galaxy, Galaxy S8, so I'm not showing the name over here, but we'll see. Okay. Okay, so in total, in total, in the meeting, there are 12, 12 students. No, actually 10 students and me. Okay, so let me just one second here. All right, so good evening. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be uh, muting your microphones just for right now because I want to give some instructions, okay? So uh, let's see, two more minutes and then we're going to start the class, all right? 
So two more minutes and we'll start the class over here. All right, so one more minute and we're going to start right away. We only have, uh, you know, uh, around 55 minutes to practice English and, you know, I'm going to do my best to help you out. All right. All right, so right now, let me just take the attendance list to see how many students are in this class, okay? So I'm going to start reading your names. And then if I mention your name, just uh, say hi or something like that, okay? So one more time, I'm gonna call your name. For example, if I'd say Adriana, just say hi, for example, to know that you're actually here, okay? So the first one is Adriana, are you over here? Hi. Hello. Uh, so Hello. Next, so next one, next one is Jose Antonio Sierra, Mr. Jose. Mr. Joseph Sierra. Then I have Jocelyn Baños. Next one, Luis Villatoro. Let me just mute your mute, mute your microphones. Okay. Um, Let's see who, who, who else is in here. Manuel Duarte, Nati Montoya, eh, Tania Dueñas, Zulma Rivas, and Mariana I have. So I think I'm missing a lot of people over here, but we'll see. Okay, so uh, good evening everyone. My name is Jose Francisco Alfaro. I'm going to be your teacher for the, the rest of the month. So this is the first class. And as you know, we meet four times during the week. So we have classes on Monday through Thursday. So we don't have classes on Friday, as you know. In total, we're gonna have 20 classes together, 20 classes. And I really hope, you know, I really hope that everybody, or at least most of you, or almost everyone joins the classes at eight o'clock. And we have to be punctual, you know, punctual, puntuales. We gotta be punctual in class. I always, always join the class two minutes before eight o'clock, okay? So the last day of classes is going to be December the 10th, and that is a Thursday. So in four weeks, in four weeks, it's going to be goodbye for you and me, all right? So uh, you may ask, so teacher, you know, tell us about you. All I can say is that I've been, I've been a teacher, you know, I'm 30 years old. You may say you're very young, but I've been a teacher for the last nine years, okay? And uh, I've been in Inglés Corporativo for a short period of time, but in the day, I work at a private school uh, in high school, you know, teaching English and teaching also uh, history, you know, so I work with teenagers, but I have always worked and, and like to work with, with adults just like you. So in this class, my objective, my goal is to, to, to help you practice English, you know, to practice English, you know, you're speaking over here. And it's okay, you know, it's okay if you don't understand to me, you know, all, all, I, all I'm saying in English. But you have to be patient with me. Tienen que ser pacientes. You gotta be patient because in my class we follow, you know, we follow our methodology. So we follow step number one, paso número uno, step number two, step number three. And the, my point is to to help you practice English as much as you can. You know, speak in English. So that's my goal. And that's also my commitment, mi compromiso con ustedes. You know, that's the promise I can give you. All right? 
at the beginning, you know, at the beginning, you may say, teacher, I don't understand what you're saying, or I don't like your classes, okay? Just to clarify something over here. So we start today, November the 16th. I know, listen to this, please. Listen, so I know there is a, an emergency, right? Due to a hurricane. El huracán Iota, you know, that's the name. So that's an emergency. And I really thank you, o sea, le doy las gracias for you to be here. Okay? For you to be here. Nice. So let's start with this. In this class, you're going to be participating and not speaking with me. You know, speaking among each other, entre ustedes, ¿verdad? You're going to be practicing among each other. So, and that's the idea in here. So I have 14 students. So that means that you can practice in purse for the next activity. All right? And here we go. Let me just switch a little bit to Spanish just to, to clarify a couple of things. En la clase siempre vamos a seguir ciertos pasos. O sea, la clase la vamos a iniciar bien puntuales a las 8 de la noche, si es posible dos minutos antes. Y vamos a comenzar con la frase o la palabra del día o de la noche. ¿Ok? O sea que yo les voy a dar palabras que native speakers utilizan, ¿verdad? Gente que habla el idioma como primera lengua. And that's what we're going to be practicing. Ok, comenzamos con eso, luego conversations, un poquito de gramática, conversations again, and then I explain something, and then we're done. O sea, esas son la, la, las técnicas que vamos a utilizar, you know, the steps. O sea, el paso, la idea es que ustedes practiquen el inglés. La plataforma la pueden completar en, en su tiempo, en el que ustedes tienen disponible. Yo sé que pasan ocupados. Pero aquí lo que vamos a hacer es utilizar lo mismo que está en la plataforma, pero un, en una, una forma más interactiva. O sea, y ese es mi compromiso con ustedes. Tenemos un mes para conocernos, ¿verdad? Lo que me interesa es que usted empiece a practicar y empie, empiece a producir. Creo que ya tienen quizás como un año de estar con nosotros, con inglés corporativo. Pero si ustedes van a comparar la, las clases quizás con otros profesores, y, y ahí les pido que sean un poquito pacientes, eh, yo no es que los voy a presionar a que hablen en sí, pero que traten de comunicarse. Y yo no los voy a juzgar si se equivocan o no. O sea, mi idea es ayudarles. Y si usted me escribe durante el día, yo le voy a contestar. ¿Ok? Porque, o sea, este es mi, este es mi business, a lo que yo me dedico. O sea, soy maestro durante el día, a tiempo completo, en un colegio privado. Y entonces me dedico a esto. ¿All right? So that's, that's what I do for a living, all right? So the phrase of word of the night, November 16th. Y solamente una pequeña aclaración. Si usted me dice, teacher, no se hable más despacio, tradúzcame lo que me dijo, yo se lo digo con mucho gusto, pero mi punto es hablarle solamente en inglés. Si usted me escribe en español, yo le puedo contestar en inglés. Si usted me dice, profe, escríbame en, en, en español, yo le escribo con mucho gusto en español. O sea, no tenga pena. Ok, pero creo que si usted está aquí en esta clase es para escuchar inglés, practicar inglés, leer inglés, para estar en contacto con el idioma. Y si yo fuera estudiante, me gustara que mi profesor me hablara en inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, so that's the point over here. So, I have this idiom, ok, o un dicho, like, that's what we call it in Spanish. Let's see, what time is it right now? It's 8.12, ok. So, uh, to add fuel to the fire. And let me ask, let me ask over here. And this question, you know, goes to anybody. Esta pregunta va para cualquier persona. Do you know what fuel means? Fuel. What's fuel for you? Fuel. Do you know or not? Gasolina. Anybody? Gasolina o combustible, right? So it depends, all right? And then, of course, you know what a fire is. So we have this idiom. If you put add fuel to the fire, if you put those words together, what do you think the phrase means to add fuel to the fire? Any idea? I'm asking you, you know, I'm asking you. So you can tell me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You got it. Thank you for that. Yeah, that's what it means, to make a problem even bigger, you know, than what it, it actually is. Okay. So, in other words, is, y quiero que repitan conmigo, por favor. It's cause a conflict or difficult situation 
to worsen or uh, uh, intensify or to make a conflict more difficult, okay? To make a conflict more difficult, okay? Or to make matters worse, empeorar las cosas, okay? O echarle leña al fuego, like you said. Like, for example, like I can tell you, uh, COVID-19, you know, the coronavirus pandemic, you know, it's a real problem, but these uh, hurricanes, you know, ETA, and this new hurricane, Iota, you know, are adding fuel to the fire. Sí o no? Le están agregando leña al fuego, las tormentas tropicales. Sí o no? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're just not over there. So that's what I'm saying. So what I'm going to ask you right now, if you like, maybe you can get your cell phone or just a notebook. It's up to you. Y quiero que todas las noches, por favor, lo que van a hacer es apuntar las palabras del vocabulario que yo les dé. Aunque no se las aprenda, pero esas palabras les va a ayudar para entender cuando las personas digan uh, dichos. ¿verdad? So that's what you're going to do. You can do it in your cell phone or you can have a real notebook, you know, to have a vocabulary list. So in this class, you're going to keep a vocabulary list, which at the end of this module, you're going to share with me. Al final del módulo, yo le puedo decir, si vimos 20 palabras, quiero que me mande 20 oraciones en una captura de pantalla, una imagen, ya sea escrita a mano o en computadora o en su teléfono, ¿verdad? Un mensaje de texto al WhatsApp, le voy a pedir prácticamente la última semana, mándeme su vocabulario con 20 oraciones. Ok, I'm going to ask that. So that's the homework you're going to have. Ok. En... Después le voy a dar más detalles de eso, ¿verdad? Eh, we have an example in here. Others in the media have added fuel to the fire by blaming farmers. That's just an example. You look at this one. Okay. Otra forma de decir lo mismo. Pongan cuidado. To add insult to the injury. Or to add insult to the injury. Literalmente podría traducirse como. Can somebody tell me, please? How would you translate this? Can, can somebody tell me this? To add insult to injury? This? Como agregarle una palabra despectiva. Mm, yeah, something like that. But in reality, ladies and gentlemen, my friends, um, to add fuel to the fire and to add insult to injury, significan lo mismo. Aunque la segunda, nosotros podríamos decir, poner el dedo en la llaga. ¿Verdad? O agregarle más leña al fuego. So these two okay. idioms mean, mean the same. Excuse me. Okay. So if you want to use the first one to add fuel to the fire to say that something is 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 more difficult now, it's okay. Go ahead. But if you want to say to add insult to the injury, you want to say the same thing. Agre agregarle uh, eh, leña al fuego. Sin, de las dos formas se puede. O agregarle sal a la, a la herida, se traduce esto. ¿Verdad? Sal a la herida. This one, the second one. Okay. Now, so uh, it means hurt a person's feelings after doing him harm uh, or harm. Also make a bad situation worse. All right, just like this. She was crying about her midterm grade, then to add insult to injury, her friend laughed at her. Okay. Ahora viene su parte, ¿verdad? That this is what you're going to do, all right, in this class. Right now it's, um, let's see what time it is. It's 8.17. Nice, I have nine 19 participants in this class. And what I'm, what I'm going to do for you, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you right now. I'm going to ask you to stand up. You know, I'm going to ask you to stand up, okay? And uh, go to the bathroom, but wait, don't do it yet. No lo hagan todavía. Esperemos todas las indicaciones. Okay, all of the instructions. So I'm going to ask you to stand up, go to the bathroom, and get as many pieces of toilet paper as you want from the roll. So go to the bathroom. Okay, if there's somebody in the bathroom, knock on the door or just wait. And then just get some toilet paper from the clean one, obviamente de limpio, verdad, porque van a estar por ahí from the package, and and then get as many rolls, verdad, van y se enrollan, 
algunos, algunos uh, piezas del papel higiénico, por favor. And then be ready for the instructions, please, for the directions. So, could you please, pongamos la computadora o el teléfono, si tienen el teléfono, y van y agarran un poquito de papel y se lo enrollan, por favor. All right? For, from the package over there at home. It's okay, just stand there, please, if you can help me with that. Necesitamos hacer eso para, para la siguiente actividad, for the next activity. Trust me. No los cuenten, solamente se los enrollan, ¿verdad? O sea, don't count, please. We're go, you know, we're going to try to wake up right now. You know, that's the point over here. You know, we're going to try to wake up. All right? So, you know, let's, let's uh, try to do it as quick as possible. So, uh, so, Tanya, were you able to get some paper? Can you show it to me, please? Or that's it. Zulma, can you show me the paper, please? Nice, I can see that. Thank oh. you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, so does everybody does everybody have the, the toilet paper? Eh, si pueden utilizar la, 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 la aplicación Zoom, tiene, tiene para levantar la manita. Over there, you can use it. All right. And just tell me yes or no, over there, please. This is what's going to happen, okay? This is, uh, you know, this is the 10, all right? Here, here is the 10. Nice. Um, so what I'm going to ask you is, I'm going to send you to, to, to work in groups of three, all right? I'm going to split you up. Lo voy a dividir. You know, I'm going to split you up. I'm going to divide you in groups of three, okay? And in there, you're going to talk to your to your classmates, okay? You're going to talk to your friends. For example, Manuel, Mr. Duarte, let, let me ask you, sir. Mr. Duarte, could you please speak up, sir? Yes. All right, so thank you. So how many pieces of paper do you have, sir? So how many pieces of paper do you have? So how many rows do you have, sir? How many pieces of paper do you have? I have uh, 50, 15, 15. All right, pieces, right? 15 pieces of paper, yeah, okay. That means, Mr. Duarte, that you're going to talk to your partners about 15 things about you or your family, something about you, okay? So you're gonna say, hi, my name is Manuel Torres. I am, I don't know, 35 years old, 40 years old or less than that. I am married or I'm single, I have two children. I work over this and blah, 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 okay? So that's what you're going to do. So I'm, I'm going to ask um, somebody else in here. Uh, let me just get your names in the, in the screen right here. So for example, Mr. Ant Antonio Sierra, sir. So Jose Antonio, Mr. Sierra, how many, how many pieces of paper do you have, sir? Jose, Jose Antonio, do you hear me, sir? No le, no le entendí. How many pieces of paper do you have? How many pieces of paper do you have? Toilet paper. How many? Cuéntelos, por favor. One, Cal two, three, four, five. Oh, you only have five. So you're going to, uh, sh you're going to share, o sea, va a compartir, you're going to share with your classmates five things about you. Okay, or your family. O sea, la actividad que vamos a hacer en este momento es, si usted tiene 10 pedacitos de papel higiénico, esa va a decir 10 cosas acerca de usted, de su familia, algo. Oh. Okay. So, if you have, if you have no. 50, so how many do you have, you, sir? <laughs> you look no. that one. I could a lot of that. So, you get a lot of paper, right? <laughs> Now, look, look yes. at this image. Look at this image. This is you right now. Take a look. Yes. This is you. Okay, now I'm prepared for the apocalypse. This is you, right? 
¿Se acuerdan, <risa> ¿se acuerdan cuando la gente se volvió paranoica y fueron a los supermercados Pero a comprar yes. periódico? So the that's, the <laughs> at the beginning of the pandemic, right? So people got crazy. They went to the supermarket and they got <laughs> packages of toilet paper. That's you right now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do... Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Okay, I'm sorry. What I'm going to do right now is... Lo vamos a mandar a los breakout rooms, a los pequeños... Um, Habitaciones, así se llaman, ¿verdad? Breakout rooms. Como somos 19, van a estar grupos de tres y un grupo de cuatro. Entonces, si, por ejemplo, si queda Manuel, Tania o Adriana, just to give an idea, van a tomar turnos diciendo the tense that you have on the paper. Ok. Si gustan, las pueden escribir para que no se les olviden, pero mi punto es, you're supposed to speak. You know, this has to be a speaking activity. Is that clear, everyone? Is that clear, everyone? Yep. For me, yes. Yes. All right. So it, it's it's crystal clear in here. So just one second. All right. So I'm opening the breaker rooms, and here we go. So please join the rooms. So Jocelyn is with Miguel, Tania, and Sulma. Jose Velasquez is with Jocelyn Baños. Emmanuel Duarte, Carlos Mancilla with Galaxy S8 and Sonia together, Adriana with K40, um, Mauricio Lemus, Kike with Luis Villatoro, Mariana, Cesar, Jose, and Nati Montoya. I'll be visiting you in the breaker rooms, okay? Mr. Ramirez. Miss Tania and then uh, Jocelyn and Sulma. Okay. You know, I, I, I'm going to try to remember your names. All right. Who starts? Who starts to participate over here? Um, uh, hi, teacher. So, <laughs> so um, Michael, you want to be, you want to be, you want to be a gentleman and you want to start? <laughs> 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 and now, teacher, what is the activity? Do you have the toilet paper with you, uh, uh, Miguel? Oh, uh, yes. So, how many how many pieces do you have, Miguel? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so freaking yes. very much. <laughs> So let, let's agree on something. Just share with us 10 things about your family or maybe your son, your mom, you, what you do. Oh, okay. Because I see that you have an Indes, an Indes shirt, I think. That's the one you have. So you might be an athlete. Um, I am Miguel Ramirez. I'm okay. married. I have three sons. <laughs> um, let, let, me I, just, let me just stop you over there, uh, Michael. Do you have only uh, sons like boys or do you have girls or only sons? Uh, one girl. <laughs> so in that case, you got to say children in general. Okay. I, ha I have okay. three children. Okay, continue. continue. Sorry, I, was, I have three children. <laughs> uh, this is the, the last or el menor. No sé cómo se diría. No, you, you have to say the youngest one, the youngest. Youngest. Oh, okay. Porque young is joven, so el menor, ajá, youngest one, okay. Yes, he is the youngest, his name is Johan, he's my beloved son. I work in a bank, um, okay. I don't know, uh, only. <laughs> what do you do, what do you do in your free time, Mike? I play with my children or we play video games sometimes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think that that's okay. Uh, so who's next over here? So I appreciate it. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Um, so who's next? We go with Sulma, Tania, or, or uh, Jocelyn. Who said yes? Me teacher. Go ahead, please. Okay, I have 10 pieces of well, papers. Okay. Uh, my name is Ulma Beatriz Rivas. 
I am 23 years old. So, so return 20, 23 years old. <laughs> <laughs> forgot your um, age. And I like play soccer with my friends. I, I don't like onions because I hate. Okay. And I like eat, eat up with my friends. For mm -hmm. example, eat at Pizza Hut or, or Pollo Campero. Gran comercial, and... <laughs> That's a big commercial, you know, but that's okay. <laughs> and I, I live with my grandmother and my grandfather. And I don't have, I don't have siblings. Okay. Uh, uh, how do you say hija única? Is... Uh, only, only child, you say, only child. Como only solitario, then child, only child. Uh, okay, I, I have only child. And in no, that case, I, you say, I am, I am, I am I an am, only child. I am, I am an I only am child. An only child. Okay. I am an only child. And in my free time, I like, uh, the, I like read the, the Bible because I go to the church. Okay. And... So. And I, I go to the shore and Thursday and, and, and Friday. And that's all. That's all. Okay. So you're a church person. That's, that's great. That's great. All right. So we have next one is Tanya because the other participant just left. All right. Uh, I have six. Guys. Okay. You're very lucky, right? Uh, my ahead. name is Tania Yamile Dumania Duenas. Uh, I'm 29 years old. Right. I'm married. Uh, I don't have a children. Uh, I work in Holes in El Salvador. I'm a civil engineer. Um, I like play soccer. Um, yeah, that's six. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six, it, it's enough, right? Six. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jocelyn is coming back right now. So Jocelyn, yeah, yes. hello. Yeah, you're, you're, this is your turn. It's your, it's your turn, please. Go ahead, please. Tengo mala señal. No, but we can hear you well. That's okay. We can hear you well. We can uh, hear you. I have a five people. Okay. I, I. Okay, and my name is Jocelyn Melara. I am 22 years old, and I live in the world. Uh, I don't work uh, in this moment uh, because in the future I will I will be my own company, <laughs> and and I I find. And I'm five, uh, and I have five siblings. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. All right. And I was studying English uh, in E4CC. And, and so Ace, did you, como se di? Uh, but you Ace. gotta say the time, you gotta say when, when, two years ago, one year ago, six months ago, when? Ago is, is Ace. Uh, Ace, uh-huh. Uh -huh, yes. One year ago. Okay, one mm -hmm. year ago. Okay, one year ago. All right, so nice to meet you, Mr. Ramirez, Miss Duenas, Mrs. Duenas, actually, because you're married. Miss Melara, Jocelyn, and then Miss Sulma Rivas. We gotta go back to the main station. We, uh, there's a, uh, another activity for you to practice. In this time, you're gonna be practicing in pairs. It's a conversation, the one you gotta practice, all right? So let's go back to the main station, please. Okay. I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to close the rooms for everybody, all right? So let's go back. So let's meet at over there. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, 
qué bueno que no se han ido, ¿verdad? Que todavía están acá. <risa> no se sabe, ¿verdad? No se sabe. Uno okay. puede caer mal, ¿verdad? No se okay. sabe. No, no te preocupes. No te preocupes por eso, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, I know the first day, but it's a little bit awkward, así como incómodo, because you guys are a little, a little bit shy, I don't know you, and that's okay. And, you know, online classes, they're great because you are at home, you can be uh, in a private place, but the disadvantage, o sea, la, la desventaja es, the disadvantage is that we don't have that human contact, right? And we need to socialize. And, and that's my point here, o sea, es mi punto, you know, that's, what I what I am uh, intending to do over here, lo que yo intento hacer. So that being said, lo que vamos a tratar de hacer, hacer conversación, all right? But right now I need to review this, okay? But before I move any any uh, further, let's try to review this, all right? Past time expressions, we have yesterday, last week, last night, and two years ago. These are just some examples. Uh, me acaban de preguntar, you know, somebody just asked me, so teacher, how do you say hace? Pero no del, del verbo hacer, ¿verdad? It, we're talking about something that happened a long time ago. And you say it go. And if you look at this screen, we have in three columns, you know, from, from uh, right to the left, or the one you, you can see you have from the left to the right, you have last, ago, and yesterday. For example, you can say last night, last Sunday, last week, last weekend, last year, last month, etc. Okay, but you don't say last yesterday, you don't say that. Okay, you say yesterday. All right. And, and then we say with the go, with that is a specific period of time. We say two minutes ago, uh, three hours ago, three weeks ago, a, a day ago. You can say a day ago, that's okay but you can also say yesterday, okay? Or you can also say the day before yesterday, like this one and the other, right? You have yesterday, yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, and yesterday evening. I'm just uh, introducing this as a reminder, como un recordatorio, as a reminder, because we're gonna be using this in a, in a, in a conversation in a second, all right? So um, let me stop sharing this screen. Any questions up to right now or something that you would like to share with me? Mire, profe, me puede decir, or mire, teacher. Or you can call me actually Frank, you can call me Jose, Mr. Alfaro, so I don't mind. All right, so I don't mind. So uh, anything that you would like to, to tell me so I can actually know beforehand, puedo saberlo con anticipación, you know, with anticipation, everyone. Alguien would like to say something in here or should, should we move on? Continuamos, should we move on? Continue from oh, no, all right, so we continue over here. So let me just stop this is uh, sharing this screen and I'll be sharing another screen with you. Um, so this one, all right, since you know that the business for English Corporativo is this platform, and of course, you know this, you know how this works, you know that uh, at least you need to get 80% to pass to the next, next level. So, and in this uh, intermediate, pre-intermediate level, you have section one through section five. And, no, I'm sorry, you, you are uh, intermediate over here. That's my bad. This one, you are interme intermediate module, all right? Ya los estaba degradando, mire. Uh, <laughs> so, you have section one through section five. And in these four weeks, we're going to cover the past in section one, all right? We're gonna go back to, 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 to the past, We're back to the future, you know, like the movie. We're going to study the comparison with used to, okay? Simple questions with, with the past, etc. On section two, we're going to uh, go back to study the past again, and then we will study uh, indirect questions. This one, we're going to be spending uh, some time. On section three, we're going to make in here, let's see, uh this one is totally different we're going to be talking about stuff at home comparing you know people comparing places comparing things so that's lesson three on um, section four this one is the one that, that matters to me a lot it's the simple past versus the present perfect okay so you need to know how to use the past tense 
in, in, in the regular, the regular verbs, the, the pronunciation or whether, and then a negative and positive statements as, as well as questions. So we're gonna be practicing the present perfect versus the simple past. And on section five, we're going to go to the future. You see, we start with the past and then we're going to finish with the future. That being said, and this is just a reminder. This is just a reminder, okay? Solo un recordatio, okay? Just a, a short uh, reminder. By the end of, 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 of the second week, quiere decir que desde hoy hasta el, permítame un momento, hasta el 26 significa que comenzando la tercera semana, el 30 de noviembre o November the 30th, usted tiene que tener completado por lo menos sección 1, sección 2 y, permítame, y que estar completando la section 3, por lo menos. O usted puede completar todo de una sola vez si quiere, ¿verdad? Pero por lo menos tiene que llevar dos lecciones, dos secciones en las dos semanas. Ideal serían tres secciones, ¿verdad? And that's, that's I would say, uh, the, the, uh, the, the material that I'm going to cover with you, all right? So we're going to keep that pace. Ese ritmo vamos a, 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 a mantener, all right? So that being said, let's get to practice this, okay? So I have some conversations for you to practice today. And since this is an intermediate level, we're going to move with this. Recuérdense, lo voy a poner en grupos, perdón, en parejas, to practice this. And that's what we're going to do, all right? So just one second me here. Any questions so far? El primer día, quizás como es un poquito más lento, yo hablo demasiado y no me gusta hablar demasiado, se lo digo, porque mi idea es que ustedes participen, ¿verdad? Pero como les estoy dando más o menos las cuestiones generales, eh, eso vamos a hacer. Si usted compara, and let me just switch to Spanish. Si usted compara lo que está en la plataforma, ya lo comenzó a hacer o lo va a comenzar a hacer, lo mismo que usted tiene en la plataforma, yo lo voy a ir revisando con estas imágenes y estas conversaciones. Significa que al final del, del día usted va a tener ese feedback o esa retroalimentación de lo que yo le doy en clase y le voy a ayudar para completar la plataforma. Pero a mí lo que me interesa, no tanto que complete la plataforma, sí lo tiene que hacer, porque si no, no va a pasar. Tengo que decirlo, pero lo que me interesa es que usted se aprenda, uh, practique, pues. O sea, ese es mi objetivo. Y así se lo digo. And I'm sorry for the Spanglish, but that's something that I want to be clear. So, uh, so are we good up to this point? Ya nos quedan solo 19 minutos para que esto se acabe. All right? Y yo espero que esta hora, no, no, o sea, va a sonar mal quizás lo que voy a decir, que pase volando, pero no es porque yo me quiero oír, sino porque usted sienta que sí está produciendo y está practicando. All right? So All that's right. the intention over here. So this is my ultimate, my ultimate objective in here, everyone. Okay? okay. So that being said, let me send this uh, uh, screenshot to you, all right? So let me just send this screenshot to you. And um, so allow me just one second here. So I'm going to be sending this to you because this is the, the uh, conversation that I want you to practice in purse. You know, coming up next is you practicing in a breakout room, all right? I'll be sending this right now as I'm speaking into the chat. And for copyright uh, issues, I'm not going to tell you this is uh, from a book or something because we're not supposed to do that. So no nos bajan el canal de YouTube, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious in here, you know, I'm serious with you. Um, here we go. All right. All right, so you got it, right? Did you get it? Did you get the image that I sent into the chat, into WhatsApp? Yeah. Did you yeah. get it? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 All right, so I appreciate that. So that's a conversation that we're going to practice in the in a second over there. The, um, all right, so let me just uh, verify something over here, you know, very quickly and, and see uh, if, if this is the correct one. Yes, that's the correct one, all right? 
So uh, right now I'm gonna ask a, a two volunteers. Okay, before I, I split you into pairs, I just need to see how you pronounce a couple of words in here. So who says yes, teacher, or just raise your hand, please. I need a, a, a lady and a gentleman, all right? All right, oh, yeah, let, let, all right, so who says me in here? Sulma. Sulma. All right, Sulma. What? I am. I... All right, so what about a, a gentleman? I'm, I'm not looking at your screen. Uh, because yeah, you... I have I have an, an, a group. A group. Okay, that's okay. So Sulma, go ahead, please. You're gonna be Anna, and then who said me, me teacher? A gentleman? Me. All right, K K forty. What's your name, sir? Because I don't see uh, your name in there. It says K forty. All right, so uh, so uh, so Sulma, go ahead, please. You are Anna, and then our friend over here is going to help us. Please. Uh, it read the the conversation, right? Yeah, you're gonna read the conversation, and then you're gonna practice in purse, you know, privately. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I am really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Is is all the conversation, teacher, or no, uh, or I I am at it. No, let me let me choose uh, Mr. Duarte Manuel. Would you like to help us? You're gonna be Ted, sir. Yes. All right. Go ahead, please. All right. Once yes. again, please. So, Manuel, go ahead, please. Start, please. Okay. Okay. I oh, am yeah, really sorry. Are you okay? And I am Anna. Yeah, you're yeah. Anna. Go ahead, Sulma. Uh, okay. I am fine, but I'm not very good at, at this. Uh -huh. Manuel, continue, please. Later, I am. Mm -hmm. I am say say are you from South America? Mm -hmm. And now, sir. Anna? Yes, I am originally I was born in Argentina. Did you grow up there? Yes, I will. I have about my family, Anna. So, yes, I did, but my family moved. I did, but my family moved here eight years ago when I was in high school. And where did you learn to roll the roller blade? Roller blade. Mm -hmm. Here in the park. This is only my second time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lesson? Sure, just follow me. <clears throat> by, by the way, my name is Ted. My name is Manuel. And, <laughs> and I am Anna. Nice to meet you. Right. Thank you so much, everyone. So, and this question goes to everyone. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? What about this? You know, do you know the meaning? I'm sorry. Do you know the meaning of neither am I? Do you know what uh, this means? Mm -hmm. Roller blade. No, neither neither am I. Do you know? Do you have any idea what this means? Neither am I. Yo tampoco. Exactly. That. Yeah, that's what you say. Yo tampoco. But just keep in mind that. Él está ocupando el verbo to be, en este caso, porque ocupó aquí, I'm not very good at this. Neither am I. Si usted dice, I can't speak German, no puedo hablar eh, alemán, I can't speak German, or I can't speak, speak uh, um, French. Y si la persona le quiere decir, yo tampoco, o tiene que utilizar el can't, you know, neither mm. can I, all right? Si, si, usted dice, si usted dice, no voy a ir a no sé a su lugar, I, puede decir, I won't go to the park. Y la persona le quiere decir yo tampoco, como utilizó el will. En, va a utilizar el will ahí. Neither will I. Okay? 
si usted dice, eh, no me uní a la clase, y la otra persona le dice, yo tampoco, la, usted le va a decir, I didn't uh, go to class, y la otra persona le va a decir, neither, neither, ¿cuál es el auxiliar del pasado, señores? Señores, ladies and gentlemen. Was, did, yes. Yes, or did. was or were, correct, correct. You say did, ok, neither did I, pero en este caso, como es el presente, I'm not very good at this, and then you say, neither am I. O si no se quiere complicar la existencia, if you don't want to complicate your life, solamente dice, me neither. Me neither, ok? <laughs> All right? Because, you know, this is grammar. Excuse me? Uh, well, uh, I remember that uh, in some text, I do either with a negative form. Yeah, but in that case, you gotta be careful and say, uh, uh, I am not either. In that case, you start with the subject, the verb in negative, and then either. For example, I can tell you, I won't go to the park. You know, I will not go to the park. Utilizando either, usted puede decir, I won't go either. All right? Uh, okay, All right. okay, okay, okay. But if you don't want to complicate your life, just say, me neither. <laughs> y ese aplica for future, past, anything. Si ustedes estuvieran hablando en, 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 en Spanish, hasta el, el plus cuan perfecto, ¿verdad? Que no sabemos cuál es. <laughs> All right? Okay. In Spanish. It even applies to that. Anything else? Out of this one, at least you're gonna practice one time in this in this evening. What about by the way? You you should know this one, by the way. Por cierto. Exactly, exactly. So por cierto. It doesn't mean por el camino, verdad? It means por cierto. Be careful with that. Okay. So right now I'm going to split you into pairs, and you're going to be practicing this conversation at least twice. What this means. Let me just one second. Uh, so you are 19, so I'm going to make all two pairs. All right. So go practice, please. We got nine minutes to practice this. Practice twice. For example, if I'm Mr. Manuel Duarte and I'm Zulma, Zulma, you're going to be uh, Ana one time, and then you, uh, Manuel, you're going to be Ted, and then you're going to switch. You're going to swap. All right. Go, please. Join the, the, the rooms, please. So let's try to uh, join, please. Es importante que nos unamos a estas prácticas cortitas para ayudarnos mutuamente. All right? So this is the importance of this. Esperemos acostumbrarnos, ¿verdad? En el camino a hacer todas estas cuestiones, ¿verdad? Que ya, que ya uh, podamos hacerla de una forma un poquito más mecánica. So, Mr. Cesar, you are with Emmanuel Duarte, Blanca, you are with Jose Velasquez, Miguel with Natia, Marian with Sonia, Jocelyn with Kike, Rael with uh, Tania, Carlos with Jose, K40 with Luis Villatoro, and then Mauricio Lemus with Zulma and Adriana. Adriana, you are alone, so I'm going to join you. All right, so, hello, hello. Adriana, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so let, let's try to practice this, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna share the screen with you. I'm going to be Ted and you're gonna be Anna. Can you see my screen, please? Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> so, so, so. No, I mean, don't worry about it, okay? Right now, I'm not your okay. teacher, I'm just another person across. Okay. All right, so, I am Anna. Yes, you're Anna. So, oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I don't very good at this. Neither am I. Say, uh, are you from South America? Yes, I am. Orig originally, sorry. That's okay. Or originally, originally, <laughs> originally. Or Originally. Originally. You say originally. Originally, yes. Originally. originally. I was born in Argentina. In in Argentina, all right. Uh did you Argentina. Grab, okay. Did you grab there? Yes, I did, but my family 
mold hair. Um, eight years ago, when I was a high school. And where did you learn to rollerblade? Here in the park. This is only my second time. Well, it's my first time. Can you give me some lessons? Sure. Just follow me. By the way, my name is Ted. And um, I'm um, Anna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Anna. Okay, so now you're going to be uh, Ted. And then I'll be uh, Anna. All right? Right. So go ahead, please, Adriana. You start, please. Uh, my information. Yeah, no, no, no. You, you just read the conversation again, please. We're going to practice two times over here. Um, well, Mantai, this... You just read, uh, Adriana. So you go, oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? So you just read that, please. Now you're going to be Ted in the conversation. I'm going to be Anna. Adriana. Okay. One more time. Yeah, one more time, please. But now you're Ted and I'm Anna. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine, but I'm not very good at this. Neither. What is yeah. the pronoun? Yeah, you say yeah. neither am I. Am I. Ah. Neither am I. Okay. Okay. Say, say, are you from South America? Yes, I'm originally, uh, I was born in Argentina. Did you work up there? Did you grow up there? Yes. Yes, I did, but my family moved here 80 years ago when I was in high school. Uh, let me just one second. Le vamos a mandar compañía. Okay. Eh, I'm going to send you Mr. Miguel Ramirez. He's going to practice with you. All right. Para que se siente yeah. así un poquito más cómodo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So this is, quiero ver qué, qué room es este. Es el número 10. All right. Uh, let's try to practice as quick as possible, ¿verdad? Porque ya se nos está acabando el, el tiempo. All right. Yes. All right, so I don't think he's gonna. Mr. Michael, are you here, sir? No, he's not over here. We're, I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close this, all right? All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, I have a full house in here, so it's still 20 participants. Uh, let me ask you, is this the first time that you use the breaker rooms to practice conversations? Or did you practice this with other teachers before? ¿Ya han hecho este tipo de prácticas o esta es la primera vez que los ponen así a practicar? No, it's my first time. It's your first time with this, all right. Yes, it's my first time. Okay, so yeah. this, you know, this practice or this habit, este hábito, you know, this practice will take time, okay? It's going to take some time. But at least today, we started with the first conversation, okay? So tomorrow, we're going to start right away with a conversation, the class. Entonces, para que usted sola, que se le quede grabado un poquito la metodología de esta clase. Todas las noches comenzamos, primero Dios, dos minutos antes de las ocho, ¿verdad? Y terminamos a las nueve en punto. O sea, tenemos dos minutos. E inmediatamente comenzamos con el vocabulario que yo les voy a dar. Y para eso les pido, de favor, si ustedes tienen un cuaderno, lo hacen la old school uh, way, or you have your cell phone with you, o no sé, tienen un post-it, como ustedes quieran, y me van guardando esas palabras que yo les voy dando, o esas frases. Al final del periodo, o sea, de las cuatro semanas, ustedes lo van a ocupar y yo les voy a pedir una tarea de eso. Ok, eso se llama un vocabulary list. 
es una forma indirecta de aprender. Y yo lo creo y, y lo he vivido en persona y créanme que sí da resultado. Después de eso, nos movemos con conversación número uno, gramática número uno, conversación número dos, y si hay tiempo, continuamos con otra conversación. O sea, se van a pasar los 55 minutos practicando en DAS y IDEA. Y mi compromiso es hablarles 90% en inglés, por lo menos, y un 10% en español. Ok. And just, I'm going to try to make you comfortable in this class. And hopefully you're going to learn, you know, in the way. Esperemos que las clases no se cancelen. And I hope to see you tomorrow and try to be on time. Si usted ingresa a la clase y está a tiempo y participa, me ayuda a mí y le ayuda a sus compañeros porque sin su ayuda no podemos practicar. Por ejemplo, si hay 18 estudiantes y si yo necesito hacer grupos de tres, es perfecto. Si quiero hacer parejas, es perfecto. Pero si tenemos un número impar, ok, Add number, you know, ODD es impar, you know, ODD, así se escribe, ODD en, en, en inglés, odd number. Número par, even, even number, ok. Uh, so, it's a pleasure to meet you, everyone. Thank you for being here and hope to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to have a more exciting class for you, all right? So, have a great okay. night, ok. Ok, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Right, you're welcome. Good night, teacher. Good night, nice.